Since the Tourist Safety Committee was created in August 2010, they have held several meetings and are now taking some key steps towards better protecting the Grace Bay area, a major tourist area in Providencialis. The group is working toward a reputation of zero tolerance for crime. Last evening, Wednesday, November 24th, committee members met and discussed ways to heighten security in the Grace Bay area. Well, the initial idea here was to make sure that the police force and the government knew that they had a willing participant by the private sector to help because we, are, we recognize that the police force generally is underfunded and has less resources than it normally would need. And we felt that if we could contribute to Grace Bay as a, as a zone by pooling our resources, we could take some of the burden off of their responsibility in this area so they could focus on other areas. And that was one of the key components of the initiative from the start. Um, and the response was, was initially quite good. We had some issues because of September and so the resorts closed down so we've re re revitalized our efforts in the last, uh, last month and a half, two months, and so we're starting to see tremendous momentum. The meeting revolved around two key issues, better surveillance and lighting of Grace Bay. CCTV cameras are to be installed and light repair work done to approximately 150 lights. There were some very, very elegant lights installed in Grace Bay some years ago. A handful of those lights, as a matter of fact, about 150 of those lights are no longer working in some way or another. We feel it's imperative that we repair those lights so that the lighting is adequate within Grace Bay so the tourists can walk back and forth between restaurants and other hotels to feel safe. The second is that we're going to institute a closed-circuit television system between the Bight Community Park where the Gansevoort Hotel is, all the way down to the golf club, where there will be multiple closed-circuit televisions, uh, cameras throughout that area, so that in, in the event of anything happening, uh, we can capture that particular, that particular action and share that with the police. Discussions also included how best to go about purchasing and repairing required items, and could Provo Power Company assist with the poor lighting problem. Perhaps the solution here is to put sort of try and work with PPC, who will see logical sense in, in the whole numeric value of this, and, and let them perhaps invest or work with this firm to start the conversion process. Members looking for ways to cut costs, as the project is estimated to cost $200,000, most of the funding coming from their own businesses. Right now, we obviously we would like to see contributions from government, but we're not counting on it. So, what we're working with all the business owners in Grace Bay to have each and every one of them contribute in some fashion or another. We're working on a formula that will that will decide and determine who contributes what. Uh, we anticipate the larger resorts to contribute early on, and then we start to work with the smaller businesses as we go forward. News 4 spoke with Dave Ryder, Assistant Commissioner of the Royal TCI Police Force, who spoke about the importance of a community-based group like this coming together to fight crime. It's critical to have the support of the community, and the business community is a community in its own right. Um, you know, they're not in business for uh, just by accident. These people make things happen. And the beauty is that they can bring skills, knowledge, experience, enthusiasm uh, to enable us to do our job better and we can work better in partnership. So, uh, all that said, um, you can see from the meeting tonight that there's been some real progress made in, in, in only a matter of a couple of months. Um, and we're very optimistic that uh, certainly Grace Bay, as a, as a model, uh, can, we can use to drive forward some real crime prevention methods uh, and, and good practice and probably exploit that across the Turks and Caicos Islands and maybe even across the wider Caribbean. Over 30 CCTVs are to be installed. The purchasing of these items are to be made within the next couple of weeks. However, repairing lights in the Grace Bay area is expected to take a little more time. Members are hopeful that there will be a significant improvement in the Grace Bay area before Christmas.